Hello and welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to be comparing two mid-market number four smoothing planes. The first is the version three from Wood River and the second is the Sweetheart from Stanley. Let's jump in. Let's start with the basics dimensions. Being that these are both number four planes, they're essentially the same length. Um, in that vein, they're the same width as well and the blades are also the same width at two inches. The blades are both one-eighth of an inch thick and the weight is about the same as well. The Wood River weighs in at an even 5 pounds and the Sweetheart weighs in at 4 pounds 14 ounces. In the price department there is a little more difference. The Wood River retails for $150 whereas the Sweetheart usually sells for about $120 although as of today it's available for $105 on Amazon. Let's talk about fit and finish. First I've had two problems with the Stanley. The biggest one was that the threaded insert that goes inside the front handle is stripped out at one point. The threads tore out of the wood and I had to epoxy it back in. Kind of annoying. Uh, the second relates to the chip breaker. From the factory, the front, the front leading edge of the chip breaker was totally square. Um, if you do your homework on that, you'll learn that the chip breaker needs to have a almost a knife edge so that the chip is evenly um, turned upwards and I was getting really bad corrugated cardboard looking shavings because the front of this chip breaker was, was totally flat. Um, I've since tuned that up and put an, put an edge on it with a little bit of a relief angle and it works fine. But one thing that wasn't great from the factory. Um, conversely on the problem side I've had zero problems with Wood River. This thing arrived perfect right out of the box. And speaking of perfect, let's talk about uh, its blade and its chip breaker. Um, the chip breaker, right out of the box, uh, had a nice sharp knife edge on it. Works great. Um, <clears throat> the blade, wow, this is this is the flattest uh, plain iron that I have ever received. Uh, if you can, if, if I can catch some light here, you'll see where I've put on a little micro bevel, and then on the back side. I've done just a little bit of the David Charlesworth rule trick and that is all I need to do. You probably can't see this. There it is. You see the shiny bit? See how it goes all the way from side to side? That's how flat this plane blade was. I didn't need to spend any time get removing a, a hump or a bow or anything from this thing from side to side. I just put it right on my, on my um, DMT diamond stone and boom done. I was super impressed by this Wood River blade. Now it's been a little while, almost two years since I've, I've had the Stanley and I, I really don't remember how flat the back of its blade was. Um, I, I do have a little bit of work back here to flatten it but I don't recall this being exceptionally bad. Other fit and finish things. Um, Otherwise, the Stanley, the Stanley works fine. There's been nothing otherwise wrong with it. But I'd just like to point out the surface quality of the two frogs. Now, if I can get this to shine. So I'll start with the Wood River. You can see how the surface quality of its frog is ground to the same standard as the side and the back of the plane. It looks great. It looks very professional. Now on the Stanley, the, the frog surface came right off of the milling machine. Um, you can see the little swirly marks from the end mill that, that clean this off. And while obviously this has never presented an actual problem, um, I was just very much impressed by seeing this and how and basically how they spent the extra money and time to make this look really nice. I'm going to wrap up the fit and finish section with the planes reassembled and a quick discussion on backlash. Uh, the Sweetheart I've just spent some time counting it. It has around two turns of backlash. Whereas the Wood River on its adjustment knob has about, hmm, I'd say half a turn, maybe one third of a turn of backlash. Let's go over ergonomics and usability. Um, first, let's talk about the, the tote. On uh, the Sweetheart, it has a fairly large, large tote here. And with my, I guess, slightly larger than average hands, it feels pretty darn good to hold on to. My fingers aren't scrunched, 
and if I choose to, I can easily reach out and brace myself against the iron with my index finger. On the other hand, the Wood River's toe is pretty short, um, and it needs to be short in order to fit underneath the lateral adjustment arm. So when I grab onto it <clears throat> with my finger out in front, um, as you can see, my, my pinky is just kind of, he's kind of smashed in down there. And it's not a huge deal because while in operation, the pinky isn't doing a whole lot. You're mostly pushing with the, uh, the web of your hand here. But just from that initial grab, I do prefer the larger toe. So otherwise, with uh, daily operation of these two styles of playing, Norris versus um, the yoke, I much prefer this style. Um, and I think because it's easier to take apart with the, the quick action snap here versus uh, this little little thumb screw, which I always seem to mess up and take too long with. I don't know, I just don't care for this. Um, and additionally, it, it might just be the manufacturer, manufacturing differences, but this style adjustment just feels a lot more solid to me. Um, like the this bottom wheel, it doesn't it doesn't move around it only goes in one direction um, whereas with the Norris style adjuster like when the when the blade is loose so this is tight yeah so right now this is in the middle of that backlash period <clears throat> and it just feels it just feels sloppy to me I don't like how this moves around um, and I, I can still adjust the thing but I just don't care for it and I am always sort of paranoid about when I'm using the plane of accidentally taking it out of lateral adjustment with my finger. And there is a locking knob down here, which I think, yeah, takes, it sort of takes care of that, but it kind of doesn't. I'm not really sure <laughs> what the purpose of this thing is. Um, so yeah, so in terms of usability, I much prefer this one. So in conclusion, I would personally recommend the Wood River over the Stanley. With a little bit of tune-up, taking care of the chip breaker mostly, the Stanley will cut a perfectly fine shaving. Um, there's, there's no difference there in how these planes actually do the work. Um, but I feel that for a modest price difference, um, you're getting a lot more quality right out of the box with the Wood River over the Stanley. Um, overall, it's just a better product, and I sort of feel that Wood River should be rewarded for that for continuing to improve their product, this is the V3 after all, as compared to the Sweetheart, which hasn't changed once since they rolled it out. Well, I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.